Hi everyone, Deathclaw Girl here, and welcome to another one of my videos. We're going to be checking out the Pit Boy diecast that has been issued out for pre order. It is one from the Fallout TV series, so we'll be checking that out. And also, I am running a fundraiser right now. Basically, the money will help me towards getting better equipment and actually buying items to uh, unbox and preview for you so that you don't have to buy. I will buy for you that way you know whether or not you're going to want these items any amount of caps will help there's a link to paypal in the description or if you just want to go buy the super duper wasteland adventure for 99 cents that will even help my channel all right let's go check out the pit boy i wanted to add this little bit at the beginning because during the upcoming video i wasn't sure of the release date. Uh, they are expecting to release this item November of this year, November 2024. So sadly, I will not have it for Dragon Con unless they release it earlier. We'll see. So sadly, sadly, yes, I won't have it for Dragon Con. Here is the Fallout series Pit Boy diecast replica. So this is the first, yeah, diecast one actually looks pretty good. We'll be checking out the pictures pretty soon, but let's read about this. This is the pre-order and I did grab one today because that's what I want to do with my channel is test out Fallout stuff for you so you can decide if you want to buy it or not. So if you would like to sponsor my channel, either throw me some caps with the link in the description or you can even just go buy the super duper wasteland adventure number one all right so let's get going um of course it is 199 dollars uh, before tax and shipping they do have where you can do the interest of free for four payments Pre-order product notice. This item is available for pre-order. And yes, I think I said it already, but I did grab it today. So as of now, it is still available. Any order that contains pre-order items will not ship. If this is important, just put this item in your sh shipping, your shopping cart. That's it. It's not going to accept any other items in the shopping cart and you can only buy one. That's basically what it's saying. You can only buy one and don't put any other items in the shopping cart. That way it will go through. This is just agreeing to it. And now let's start checking out the pictures. So here is the front. It's going to be wearable. That looks like it does have some type of uh, cushion inside. This is a full scale one to one. Here it is open. At the end of the video, I will be looking at the pictures in more detail. So if you definitely want to hang around for that. So, uh, and here is, looks like the top. And this is just basically showing you it's going to have, yeah, a screen. I'm not sure because they just show the one, but I'm assuming you're going to be able to go through all these. We'll find out once I actually get this and do a proper unboxing and review of it. I'm, very, I'm actually very excited. Uh, let's look at the next picture. And I, th I think this is just showing that it is rechargeable. So let's go ahead and start reading. One to one faithful replica of the Pip-Boy as seen in the Fallout TV series, which yeah, series i guess that's what they're going to be basing it on is the fallout tv series i'm not sure which version of the pip boy it's going to be but let's see if it says okay faithful replica of pip boy has as seen in fallout tv series create using the tv show geometrics and made in a mix of die cast metal and induction of molded ABS. The Pip-Boy has a functioning TFT LCD screen showing inverse animations and is also a working timepiece with an inverse alarm clock function. Ideal for when it is sitting neatly on its perfect formed display stand. So uh, let's see let's get back to the original here so i guess you can let this i don't know if you'll be able to let it keep playing but yeah it'll work as an alarm clock again it's going to be wearable as far as i understand it let's keep reading 
Diecast metal front casing, engineering injection molded ABS body with a memory foam cup. All come together in the perfect balance of authentic materials, which individually stressed, dis distressed by hand, results in the most accurate replica of its iconic wrist roan personal information processor pit boy ever made. Discover, yeah, because I think one came out. I missed grabbing it, so that's why I was excited about this one. I never was able to grab the other one, and I really wanted one. So now I'm going to hopefully have one. Uh, let's see. Discover the exciting range of animated screens straight out of Fallout Universe displayed in glorious monochrome green. Each screen is authentically accessed via the control dial on the side of the casing. So, okay, functioning dials. That's what I was wondering. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I was wanting it, especially for Dragon Con. That's coming up uh, beginning of September. So yeah, I think Dragon Con this year is going to be heavy Fallout with the TV series. So yes, I think it's definitely going to be heavy Fallout. The Pip Boys clock mode displays the time exactly as it does in the Fallout universe, which makes it a great super large watch for day-to-day -day wear. Yes, it is a big watch or just about the most perfect cosplay item money can buy. Yes, it's definitely gonna be the swag for Dragon Con for me. Hopefully I get it before Dragon Con. I was looking for a date of release, but I don't see it yet. So I'm hoping it is in some of the other information coming up. When it is not being worn, it can be shown off with pride on its slim line stand as a pure display piece or put to good use on your nightstand as an awesome clock, complete with an inverse alarm mode. It is the perfect pit boy. The product images and descriptions are representative. Changes may be made to final products. Oh, that's interesting. Comes back and doesn't look anything like that, but we'll see. We'll see, right? That's why you're letting me buy it before you buy it. Okay, features, official merchandise from the Amazon original series Fallout, die cast metal front casing, hand painted weather finishing. I wonder what the back is in. Die cast metal front casing. TFT LCD display with an exciting range of animated inverse screens, timepiece with in-universe clock watch display with alarm function, memory foam cuff for increased comfort and universal fitting, elegant display stand for tabletop, rechargeable inner, Ally Pro battery charge via USB-C created by the Minds at the Wand company. I think this is important because they have, I, I've heard, put out lots of good stuff. So that's, that's at least uh, a good sign that this will be a good product. This product is pre-sale. Any order containing, okay, this is repeating. So let me go up here and gallery, description, and uh, customers. Okay, now we're gonna go into the more detailed version of the picture, so let's go to that now. Let's now take that closer look. Now, to me, the most important things are, of course, to be the functionality of this item, the dials, how the screen's gonna look. So let's take a closer look at that animation again. Hit the play button and yeah, to me that looks really good. What do you guys think? Did they hit it on? Hopefully this is the product that we're gonna be getting. Again, I did read about, you know, the uh, could be different once we actually get it. Well, let's take a look at the cuff. Uh, my only concern here is will that foam inside last, you know? Uh, memory phone is I think 50 50 I know in shoes it's so it's the worst thing you can have inside your shoe for a soul is memory phone because it does not last so hopefully it does last on the inside of this cuff the other thing I'm not sure about is they said that the front is die cast so what is the back part is it plastic to metal Again, I have issues with using plastic to metal, especially if it's, I don't think it's hinge. I think it just closes. I'm hoping there is some way to lock it in place on your arm. Again, I can't tell from the pictures. 
And I'm assuming this image is just showing you where you plug it in to recharge it. I also wondered if, uh, I know like in, uh, let's see, there is a mechanism that actually comes off that you connect the pit boy to like the vault so that you can open the vault. I wonder if that is removable or not. Here is an image of that mechanism I'm referring to. I don't, I can't, it does not look like it's removable, um, but that would be cool if it does, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the knobs are supposed to work. Again, the screen is supposed to work. It's supposed to be an alarm clock. So we'll know more once I actually get the item. And that's it for this video. Again, if you'd like to help sponsor my channel in any of the ways I mentioned before, please do. Otherwise, that's it for me. Deathclaw Girl out. Happy gaming. Happy, hopefully, Pip-Boy diecast. Put on my arm, walk around. Not even for Halloween, because it's November time. Anyway, check you later. Want more? Like, share, and leave a comment.